it's a post that features some lovely, very manicured feet in some high heels. And you're wondering, whose feet are those? None other than Karuchi Tan. So Karuchi Tran has now decided to open her OnlyFans where it's just her feet. And uh, obviously the OnlyFans URL is onlyfans.com forward slash Karuchi's feet. And I saw this incident and I was like, oh, interesting. And the first thing I thought to myself was, I wonder if this is, has anything to do with the recession that we're currently in. Or is this just a young lady exploring her options and just collecting an easy bag? Because if there's one thing that I've learned online is that there are a lot of guys who are clearly into feet and they'll pay top dollar for feet content. It doesn't have to be sexual at all. It can just be regular pictures like this of her sitting down somewhere, minding her business. She took that picture, it probably took her less than a second to take it, and it might end up making her hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. It's just crazy that people are into like their kinks when they're into it. They ride it flipping hard. So I saw that picture, I thought to myself, hmm, I wonder if this is her reflection of her bank balance going down, or if she's just doing this because why the fuck not? Why leave money on the table if you can scoop it all up and put it in the bag? But then she posted this explanation and quickly deleted it after. The following. LOL at all the comments regarding OF. I'm not going broke. Just a smart play. Fort Fetish is the number one fetish in the world. There's nothing sexual that will be on my page. It's literally my feet. If people are willing to pay, then what's the problem? Personally, for me, I always feel like if ever you have to explain the stuff that you're doing there's probably some what you call it there's probably a um bad intention attached to it there's probably something that you're still wrestling with you haven't really come to grips with it. you probably are feeling a little bit self-conscious about the whole situation because i don't feel like she needs to explain herself <laughs> she's a grown-ass woman if she wants to put her feet up on only fans and if there's you know consenting adults out there that want to exchange money to see her feet in various positions then why the fuck not like honestly why the fuck wouldn't you do it so i'm not really too sure what the situation is i like to see how this develops i'm eager to see the stats my main thing is the stats i want to see the stats i want to see the stats for the week the stats for the month to see how fucking freaky and horny people out there because i know there's a level of horniness because i think twitter is a good example of it because i think people sometimes pretend and try to act like they're not horny and shit but twitter is probably the best summation the best reflection of human society it kind of shows us our best and our worst but it also shows us our rawest right so i'm really eager to see how raw the horniness levels are around the world like how horny are you really like how much money are guys or gals willing to spend on karichi's feet pictures i want to see I want to see that and hopefully we get leaks of that soon hopefully she does like that girl bad baby and leaks a picture and shows oh my god she made like you remember bad baby made like 60 million or something on only fans that's when you were like if as a man you're like fucking hell mate the game isn't the same in it there's definitely a <laughs> differences between men and women in our abilities to make money that fucking bad baby girl made like i don't know i think 60 million something crazy and i remember the last time or the first time she announced she was opening her OnlyFans, somebody leaked a few of the pictures, and then basically that was it. That was a bit the same theme she was going for. And I remember seeing those pictures, and I swear it wasn't anything. It wasn't anything revealing. She was making that much money, and she was basically posting the most she posts. I remember seeing from that dump was like lingerie pictures. Maybe there were some lingerie pictures where it was a bit of a lacy bra, and you might see a nipple if you squint hard enough. But there was nothing in the pictures that was racy, nothing at all. And she still made 60 million. She like it just looked like she was doing a lookbook or an advertisement for like Victoria's Secret or something. That's all it looked like. There was nothing else on there. No, it's nothing explicit, nothing porn worthy, nothing that you could really fap to, I don't think, right? But she still made fucking 60 mil. So I'm curious to see how much Karuchi is gonna be able to make with feet pictures. I I'm I'm really curious. This is the only time I pocket watch because this stuff is fascinates me because i don't you know i wish i did have a few more like crazy kinks i wish i did have a few more like horny tendencies but i don't really um, i'm pretty kind of mundane i'm pretty ordinary i'm pretty fucking milk toast middle of the road missionary guy right <laughs> i don't really have anything like crazy in terms of a thing that i'm into but i'm i i really do like other people's things and finding out what they're into like i really like finding out what makes guys hard <laughs> i know that sounds kind of gay but i really do <laughs> like finding out what guy what gives guys bonus like what actually makes some guys go oh 
Do you know what I mean? Like, what is it? And some of the stuff is fucking insane. It's like the other day, or not the other day, a few weeks ago, actually. I don't know how I stumbled on it, but again, Twitter's the best place for it. But I was on Twitter, right? And I saw this guy has this page. Oh, I think I, think I was actually searching for burger and content. That's why I'm mad. I think I found it. I was searching for burger and content, and I found this guy's page who was into, like, a mud play. So what he would do is that he would somehow build a mud pool. I guess you can do that. And the mud kind of looked grayish. So maybe it's the mud that you use for like, maybe it's the mud you use to like exfoliate yourself or to like do that skincare shit. Maybe it's that sort of mud. So it's like muddy, clayy type of stuff, right? He'd build like a pool of it. And he'd basically get into that stuff with his snapback hat backwards. He had a vest on and some shorts. So he kind of had like the typical, I don't know what that archetype is called in gay culture. That's what I don't know if that's like an athlete thing or a jock thing, but it's a style that a lot of gay guys sometimes are into, where the guy wears like a, a vest, he's got like jean shorts, and he's got like a hat, right? And it's kind of muscular. So he would jump into a pool and he would basically like, you know, pleasure himself in the pool, but he would like in a pool full of mud and then he'd like sink, like he'd kind of go under. And I was like, and his whole profile was just that. This white guy just like like going crazy in this pool thing. And it had, like, obviously, the views were crazy, like hundreds of millions of views, um, and the comments were fucking insane. And then there were other videos where he was in it with a with another dude, and obviously they were doing, you know, what gay guys would do in a mud pool. And I was watching it thinking, wow, bro. Like, how do you even find out you're into that sort of stuff? What is even the trigger? Is the trigger to that sort of stuff like he was watching Indiana Jones or something back in the day? What's the trigger? Like, what what gets you to, what gets you to be that guy? Because everything else sort of makes sense, right? If you're a guy that's into lingerie, you can understand maybe a guy's first sexual experience or the first time he realized he was into women was when a woman he saw on TV was wearing lingerie. Like the, the, there are certain kinks you can kind of explain and you can kind of, you know, rationalize and kind of figure out, oh, okay, I get why someone's into that. But the mud thing, I'm like, how do you get into mud? Did you watch an episode of Power Rangers and someone sunk or something? Like what happened? Like like what what got you into it? Because his whole feed was full of that sort of shit so man like kinks are interesting i swear to god i might have to actually buy a book on kinks to find out what actually drives people and gets people flipping hard and shit because that stuff is fascinating to me especially being again being a middle of the road missionary type of guy who closes his eyes when he kisses and shit right i'm that type of person i close my eyes when i kiss somebody right <laughs> when i hear of people being into fucking crazy kinks like that like you know suffocation all this sort of shit i'm like whoa <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because for me, like, you know, a little finger in a boot is already a bit much. <laughs> That's extreme. That's like getting fucking pegged for me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'd love to see what, what goes on there. But big up Karuchi. Never explain yourself, my dear. You don't have to fucking, you know, justify your decisions with the fucking internet. Um, collect your fucking dough and let the fucking horny mices out there, you know, buy your feet and do what they need to do. Do what they need to do.